Hello everyone, welcome back to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today, I want to talk about the secret and mysterious lore of a place called New Man's Landing. It's a small area on the west coast of Dunmoreau. The area holds one building, similar in appearance to buildings in Moonbrook, Westfall, and a dock. At the building, there is an alcohol still, several open boxes of grain, and some bone piles. The dock itself features a sign reading Newman's Landing, a table, several lanterns, and a sunken boat in the water below. The area has no monsters, no trade skill spawns, and no containers. Currently, it's a little more than a sightseeing location. Visitors to this location can walk to a position which appears close to Cold Ridge Valley, but cannot access it from there without a flying mount. I want to take you today through the history of New Man's Landing. New Man's Landing can be reached by swimming north from Westfall or Stormwind Harbor, or south from Wetlands. It is also accessible via walking atop the mountains of Dunmoreau. If you swim north from Westfall, you'll come across an area while still swimming that says that you are in Stormwind, and you are able to log out there without the 20 second delay. Now, but be aware, however, that swimming there takes a minimum amount of time of 10 minutes, usually more. Since patch 3.0.2, Alliance players can get to Newman's Landing fastest with a swim from Stormwind Harbor. It is easier to get there from Cold Ridge Valley in Dunmoreau. Just head straight to the sea from the valley it is right along the coast. Now a flying mount required unless you want to swim. Newman's Landing stands just on the border between wetlands and Westfall waters. That is, if you die there or just north of it, you'll appear in Menetho Harbor. Wetlands, whereas if you die just south of it, you'll appear in Set Sentinel Hill, Westfall. This is despite the fact that both Wetlands and Westfall are far away in different ends of the continent, are not connected to each other, and the nearest zone is Dunmoreau, whereas the waters south of Newman's Landing belong to the unimplemented zone, the Deathwing Scar. Before patch 3.0.2, if you stood in New Man's Landing, you left all zones in Azeroth. A shift click on a person's name would show them in the location unknown. And for the location next to the character's name in a guild roster, there was simply a blank space. Post 3.0.2, this location is now classified as Dunmoreau, or the Great Sea closer to the water. And a goblin with the voice of a gnome named High Admiral Shelley Jorick stands at the dock accompanied by two Booty Bay Bruisers. He sells blacksmithing supplies and can repair. Trying to fish at New Man's Landing used to give the air there are no fish here. As of patch 3.0.9, you can fish here the type of fish you can receive around the level 25 through 35 range. There is also a bug where if you engage in a fight with the two goblin guards, they will, if not killed, run off the direction of Booty Bay after the fight and will not come back for a minimum of several hours. Once the guards are gone, High Admiral Shelley Jorick can be killed far more easily and will, again, not respond for several hours, leaving plenty of time for the eerier feel some believe that New Man's Landing has without the goblins to settle back in again. It is possible that the name is a pun on No Man's Land. It has been suggested that the owner fell victim to the plague. It is also a possibility that the owner of this house was slaughtered due to the fact that there is a skull on an axe stuck to the signpost and the piles of bones scattered around the house. It should also be noted that the bones inside the house are all orcish skeletons, with one of them lying in the fireplace. Also, there are several seemingly gnomish or goblin engineering items scattered around. It is possible that the goblins are trapped there, as there is a broken boat sunken near the dock, and maybe the goblins were beginning to starve and were then forced to eat each other to prevent them from dying, 
and that could be the reason why there's some bones in the house and even maybe orc goblin bones. It is possible that the most recent use for New Man's Landing was or is as a smuggler bootlegger's den. This is suggested by number one, the still, grain boxes, and other tools laying around the area. Even though the boxes have the symbol that was used heavily in Warcraft 3 to indicate signs of the plague, it is more likely that the use here is to indicate ingredients for alcoholic distillation. Two, it would not be a stretch to consider the duplicated house a sign of criminal activity. Like in Moonbrook, visitors would like to be more interested in completing their business than taking care of its structures. Three, the detapicated head held to the signpost by an axe was, is often used by pirates as a warning to rivals or those who may accidentally stumble upon their territory. And four, as of patch 3.0.2, Udi Bay allied goblins NPCs have been placed on the dock. There is a white object on the southern table that appears to be a cup. It has two letters, a clear F and an unclear one that may be a T that has the logo of a hammer. This hammer logo has some resemblance to the one seen on the Iron Forge logo. However, there appears to be a missing shield. This may suggest that the owner may have come from a northern group or possibly even know. There may even have once been a tunnel between Dunmoreau and New Man's Landing that was buried or hidden. This would have allowed a citizen of Dunmoreau, Ironforge, or possibly even Nomergon easy access to the area and not having to swim around. The owner's killers, quite possibly pirates, might have wanted others to come over to what they had thought were their lands and buried the hole themselves, which over time may have gotten grown over with grass and is now indistinguishable from the surrounding terrain. New Man's Landing has been found to be the area where Alliance players are dropped when they first create a new character. Just before the opening video sequence, thus the New Man's Landing, if you stand at a certain spot, you may notice level one characters appearing for a brief instant before they disappear. A forward slash who query will then show them in the starting area of their race. This transition takes place so quickly that the new player does not even notice this area they are dropped in. Thank you for joining me today on this very mysterious, crazy place called New Man's Landing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you have any suggestions, if you have any additional comments to add, if you have some argument in what I had said, <laughs> let me know and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.